welcome to an Epic Mod AM Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We got something pretty freaking cool. You know, the other day I was actually chilling there and I thought about what if the MDT pick fed was real, right? It was real. It was a real thing. By the way, I'm still working on the episode, okay? I'm working very hard. It's going to be coming soon. Just a little bit more. We're almost there. I know. But the other day I was thinking, you know, I was working on the pick fed and I was like, bro, how sick would it be if there was an MDT Elite Series, okay? There was a sole Elite Series or a few Elite Series based on the MDT pick fed. Now, obviously, no Nobody's going to want figures that we already get from Mattel, right? We're not going to want figures that are already released. we got to make it special. It's got to be special attires or moments or customs. So I wrote it down, okay? I gave you guys two Elite Series, which feature six figures each. I gave you a few two-pack Elites like we get with the WrestleMania 35 Ray and Samoa Joe, like we've seen with AJ Styles and Finn Balor, stuff like that. I also made a Royal Rumble Best of Pay-Per-View Build-A-Figure Series, which features four different figures. And then finally, we have the Defining Moments line, which I think will be pretty badass as well. So here today, I'm going to give you what I came up with. I thought it was pretty fun to do. You guys can make your own down in the comment section below. I would love to know what you guys think of my series. What do you think? Would you buy them? Let me know down in the comment section below as we go through the video, or maybe you can come up with a better series yourself. Sometimes the pick fed gets hazy in my memory. Like, I'm like, what else have we done? Or what else happened? And, and I try to write it all down. But I think I've got a pretty good selection of figures, and I want to know your guys' opinion on it. So I thought today we would do that, guys. So let's start off with Elite Series 1. This is starting it all. Now, this isn't going to go all the way back to the very beginning because you got to think, so most of the time at the beginning, I was using figures that we already had. I wasn't giving us the customs and the fix-ups and stuff, so I had to go all the way up to Sold Out, and I started things off with the Elite AJ Styles from Sold Out, and this is the match where he took on CM Punk and ended up losing and being shipped off to Vindication in that trade. So we had CM Punk versus AJ Styles. Loser leaves MDT Live, and we have AJ Styles in this white Carolina blue black and silver attire, and I know my boy Jesus would be the first one to pre-order this hoe, and he would get this thing immediately. I know a lot of people like this attire, so let me know down below, guys, would this be a must-cop for you in your MDT Elite Series? I like this figure a lot, and it's freaking sick. That, that was my first figure. Next up, guys, we have another figure from Sold Out, and this one is going to be Dolph Ziggler. This is where he came up short versus John Cena in the MDT Championship match. Two of my favorites in the world going head-to-head. -head. Now, this one is unique. You got the long hair mold. You got the black wrist tape. You have the pink attire with the silver and black black on the back. It does say show off in black. You got some silver uh, black boots on this thing, black knee pads. Just a simple fix-up slash custom attire that I wanted him to wear. Or, or actually, no, he didn't wear this as sold out. This is not the sold out Dolph Ziggler. I actually, I'll pull up a picture of the of the Dolph Ziggler from sold out. I don't know why that popped in my memory. Where where did he wear this attire? Did he wear this at Money in the Bank? What? Where's my head? I don't know what the hell's going on. You guys can see on your screen, I made a Dolph Ziggler in a seen enough attire. I thought that was pretty sick. On the back of his trunks, it does say... <laughs> Good God in heaven. <coughs> Choked on air. A little dry throat phlegm. Christ. Anyways, it's got it's a Dolph Ziggler. It's got black trunks. It says seen enough. I completely forgot about that figure, man. I don't even know where that figure is. I gotta do something about that. I missed that figure. Where the hell? It's not on my shelf, so I don't know. But anyways, you guys get the idea. This is a good representation of it. I would release this one. Maybe there's your Chase Vera right there. There you go. Solves the issue. You get this figure, and then the Chase variant version is the seen enough attire, which is pretty much the same thing, but black trunks. And on the butt, it does say seen enough. He did come up short in that match, but I thought that was a pretty cool figure as well to put in the series. Next up, guys, we have John Cena, and this one has got to be his MDT Champ Is Here custom t-shirt with chain gang armbands. It would also come with the illustrious MDT Championship, and this is obvious. It would have to come with the championship. It would come with the Champ Is Here t-shirt. It would come with the chain gang chain, and this would be a really sick release. So there you go. You got three guys off of MDT Live, AJ Styles, Dolph Ziggler, and John Cena, Champ is here, T-shirt, MDT Championship. That's my first three figures of Series 1. Now for the next figure in the series, I could not come up with the attire because I have certain figures going in certain waves, but the next figure would be Kenny Omega. He would come with the Elite Championship. I guess you could go with his Money in the Bank attire. It's like a Bullet Club attire. I no longer own that figure, so I can't show it off, but that's probably what I would put him in the Bullet Club attire, and that would be the, the next figure. Also on top of that, the next figure would be the Miz, and he would come with the Revolutionary Championship. Now the reason I can't show the Miz is because he's never worn a, you know, a custom, he's 
never won a custom attire or anything. He's the best revolutionary champion ever. Defended the title week in, week out. He was prominent on Vindication Television, and I would want him to be replicated in figure form, which also brings me to my next thing, which is Marty Skrull could be stripped of the Revolutionary Championship very soon, and he might be released from MDT. Following what has happened in real life, we'll just have to keep an eye on that situation. I'm still debating it and trying to check into the evidence of the situation, but we'll have to see about that. And for our last figure in Wave 1, guys, we do have Cody Rhodes in this Bullet Club attire with the Dream tattoo and everything. He's He, he wore white boots at one point for this, but I couldn't think of another figure. You know, I didn't have any other figures, at least right now. Maybe you could replace the Miz and Cody Rhodes with the Young Bucks, because back then I didn't have a lot of figures, I guess, or you could also plug in maybe Finn Balor if you wanted to from the first episode where he won the Fatal 4-Way and won the Elite Championship for the first time maybe over Kenny Omega. I don't know. That's just what I got going on, but let's move on to Elite Series 2 where the first figure in the series is going to be Johnny Gargano from Hell's Gate. Now, this is the blue Iron Man Championship attire obviously to replicate the Iron Man Championship. This is pay pretty much what this attire is based on. It is based off of the Iron Man Championship because he was going after the Iron Man Championship, so the blue and gold with the Iron Man. It's basically the Iron Man attire that Johnny Gargano wore in real life, but in blue and gold to match the Iron Man Championship that he was chasing, and I know a lot of people love this custom, so I wanted it to uh, be in the Elite Series. I had to get this in there because I know a lot of people wanted to see that one made, and uh, it would also include probably, I would say probably the truck door that his neck landed on in that match, and it would come with his entrance vest, which is right here, which looks like, you know, some Iron Man armor. So there you go for that figure. As far as AJ Styles and Dolph Ziggler's accessories go, I would go with their entrance coats, interchangeable hands, in cloth, of course, maybe a weapon or two. Some other accessories I have more fleshed out than others. But next up, guys, the Elite Series 2 or possible Defining Moments figure would be Kevin Owens from Hell's Gate. Now, this one would come with both. You could just put this in Elite Series 2. It would have his Hell's Gate attire with the orange and black. It would come with an interchangeable bloody head sculpt. It would have both the, uh, the new version and the old version of the Extreme Championship. I thought that was a pretty cool moment right there. And, you, you know, we got to get all the title belts in here for the Elite Series. So maybe you could throw in the Iron Man Championship with Cody Rhodes in the last series or something, but he didn't have the title at that time. But again, Kevin Owens is a must-have. You know, he's, he's he's been killing it with the Extreme Championship, and you could include this with the figure. But that is my next figure in Series 2. Next up, guys, Ianua had to do it. We have to put the Buzz Lightyear Seth freaking Rollins in Series 2. It's probably a Series 1 figure, but since it came later at Hell's Gate, I figured Series 2 would probably be better. But you have the Buzz Lightyear Rollins. He did lose in the matchup because Dean Ambrose cost him the match, but it is a beautiful attire. Everybody would probably, this would probably be the hottest selling figure. Everybody would want the Buzz Lightyear Rollins with the custom head sculpt and all the purple and green going on with the SR Space Ranger logos. Custom vest. I mean, this is a must-have. Everybody would pre-order. Pre-orders would be gone. This hoe would be on back order, but I had to put this in Series 2. Next up, guys, we have another guy that could possibly be released from MDT, barring evidence. I'm still waiting on a few more things to look into and stuff like that before I make the final decision, but Velveteen Dream. This is his soul, this is his Hell's Gate attire in the Usos and the Bloodline attire where he was going after the MDT Championship with Roman Reigns. He wore the Day One-ish jacket. He's got the headband, the glasses, ripped up torso on the Usos jogging pants. He's under the same fire as Marty Skrull with sexual assault allegations and stuff like that, so I'm still waiting, but we could see Velveteen Dream and the Revolutionary Champion Marty Skrull get cut from MDT, barring you know more evidence and looking into the situation, but, and I'm not going to make any decisions until I know for sure. But there is Velveteen Dream. I had him plugged into my Elite Series 2. Another guy from that matchup, guys, is going to be Cedric Alexander. Another figure that I would have in Series 2 would be the Spider-Man attire for Cedric Alexander. You guys have seen this before. I think you guys have probably seen all of this before unless you're new to the channel, but this Hell's Gate attire with the Spider-Man Cedric Alexander attire. Red necklace. He would also come with his entrance vest. Maybe, uh, I, I don't even know what other accessories. Maybe you guys can let me know some accessory stuff and stuff like that down in the comment section below. Interchangeable hands. Some accessories are more fleshed out, like I said, more than others, but maybe you guys can help me out down in the comment section below with what happened to Hell's Gate and, you know, what happened in moments and stuff like that that would make for accessories for certain figures, but I do have Cedric Alexander plugged in my Series 2, and for the final figure in Series 2, I'm going with none other than Eric Bischoff, who probably should be in Series 1, given, you know, he, he was involved in one of the bigger storylines to begin with. He's been there since the very beginning. He would probably be featured in Series 1, but I did want to put Eric Bischoff in there, and you could probably switch him with somebody from Series 1 if you wanted to, but I have him here in Series 2. Eric Bischoff is a figure that a lot of people would want. I know a lot of people that want him anyway that has nothing to do with the MDT pick fed, so Eric Bischoff would be plugged in there. And now we're getting into our big time moments, you know, our Royal Rumble line that has the best of pay-per-view 
you build a figure, you have the defining moments and you have the two packs. Now starting off with our two packs, I think it's obvious we'd have to get some Young Bucks. We would have the Young Bucks in here in their Hell's Gate attires with the MDT Tag Team Championships. You got the pink and the, and the navy and the dark colors and you got to get the Tag Team Championships with the updated ones, not those old ones that the Revival had that were so awful. You got to get the newer ones. So that would be my first two pack. My next two pack would be Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose where they captured the MDT Tag Team Championships or possibly a three pack. Maybe you could do all three guys, Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins with the World Tag Titles and then Dean Ambrose with the US Championship and you'd have a replicated Shield 3 pack but in their updated attire. So the Seth Rollins with the long sleeves, Roman Reigns with the gray highlights and then the Dean Ambrose. You could put the World Tag Team Championships and the United States Championship in there from MDT and you'd have your little Defining Moments 3 pack if you wanted to do that. And then the last two pack I'd have is the debut of Kane and Braun Strowman. This would be my two pack. Uh, I think everybody would want these for sure. You got the fixed up Kane. You got the Braun Strowman with the mask molded on by BEW. Big defining moment, them showing up and taking out everyone in that World Tag Team Championship match. This would be a really sick two pack that I would personally buy, obviously. And now we move on to our Royal Rumble Best of Pay-Per-View series, which is really sick. I think this is a great wave right here. Now starting off with our first figure in the Royal Rumble, said guys would be Roman Reigns. He would come with his entrance vest. Now I'm not talking about the Hell's Gate version. I'm talking about the Bloodline Royal Rumble Roman Reigns and this would be the first Royal Rumble figure and we would get the MDT Championship. So he'd come with the day one-ish vest. He would come with the MDT Championship interchangeable hands and that would be the first figure in our Royal Rumble set. The next figure in our Royal Rumble set would be Kenny Omega. Now I've since turned that guy into a creative wrestler and he's got some kick pad issues now. But it's the Elite Championship attire in the blue. Kenny Omega head sculpt and it would come with the Elite Championship. That would be the second figure in my wave. The third figure in the wave would be the winner of the Royal Rumble. It would be Seth Rollins. He would come with the knee brace, t-shirt, Elite 37 head sculpt that has since been switched, but I did have the knee brace on there. I know it's the same thing, but I thought you had to put the Royal Rumble winner in there, right? And I would have a little mini Royal Rumble ball, possibly a little spending pendulum. I don't know where that thing is. I know it's somewhere around here. It's my little Royal Rumble lottery picker. A lot of people wanted to know how to make that. And I think a lot of people would want that accessory. So I'd have the Royal Rumble lottery picker spinner thing with a little ball or a lot of mini balls that they could select so they could get their numbers like we did on the night of the Royal Rumble. And the last figure in that set would be Jeff Hardy with the Punisher attire. He was the number one entrant in the Royal Rumble. So the Jeff Hardy Punisher attire would be one of those great Royal Rumble series figures that would be highly sought after. You'd have the entrance coat, you'd have the Punisher shirt, you'd have the Punisher face paint, I mean, and the pistols. So, I mean, this would be one of those sought after figures highly I think I think a lot of people would want to see those if you guys can come up with a better Royal Rumble set let me know down in the comment section below but there is that set and the build a figure for that set I said it would be a build a figure it would come with the build a figure Trey White figure. Yeah, so the whole Royal Rumble set, you buy every figure in the set, and you would get all the pieces to make your very own commentator slash backstage analyst Trey White figure in elite figure form. So right there, you'd have the head sculpt, you'd have the torso, the arms, and the legs would all come with different pieces, and there you go. Who wouldn't want a freaking Trey White figure with your Royal Rumble? That's the pay-per-view Build-A-Figure. I mean, there you go. So here's your Royal Rumble set right there. You got all four of them with your Trey White Build-A-Figure. You got your Defiant, you got your two packs with Braun Strowman and Kane, the Young Bucks, and then finally we have the Defining Moments line, which would feature possibly Hell's Gate Kenny Omega with the Elite Championship and the bloodied up face. You have the Hell's Gate Roman Reigns with the MDT Championship possibly. You have a Money in the Bank RVD that could come with not only RVD with the Money in the Bank briefcase, but it could also feature possibly Adam Cole with the Bullet Club Money in the Bank, and the RVD could come with the briefcase and the Extreme Championship because he did lose the title during that matchup, so you could come with both. That way, you know, you get some extra accessories and stuff like that. Another one could be Finn Balor with the Elite Championship. And then a final one would be Edge with the MDT Championship and a ladder with him being the first ever MDT Champion. So that was all the figures that I could come up with, man. I would love to know down in the comment section below. I think this video went a little longer than I expected it to. But, you know, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me on this Saturday morning. I would love to know down in the comment section below what figures you would grab, which ones would be a personal buy for you. If you have any better series you could come up with, or any future series or, you know, accessories or stuff like that that could come. Maybe fantasy matchups or something. Like, maybe it could come with Kenny and Roman.
Roman in both titles or maybe some matches like maybe a Seth Rollins and a Dean Ambrose from their match or a No Way Jose and a Kevin Owens from their Fatal 4-Way or something. I don't know. I'm just thinking off the cusp of fantasy stuff. It's really fun to come up with your own sets and especially based off of storylines and pick fed ideas and stuff that I've came up with, especially with the customs and fix-ups. That stuff's so much fun, but let me know what you would buy down in the comment section below. If you can come up with better series, let me know down below as well. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.